Driving around Siouxland, you can't help but notice the green fields stretching for miles on the side of the road, right? But farmers say, don't be fooled, we need rain. KCAU 9 reporter Jessica Watson takes a look at what that lack of rain means during this growing season. That's our top story this afternoon at 5. These stalks of corn look good to the naked eye, but a field agronomist told me today that it's the dead leaves down here that show that the corn is stressed and won't produce as good of a yield. You know, with our subsoil being profile being full this spring, that definitely helped. And with the high humidity, the plants haven't been able to, you know, perspire as much as normal. So that's helped to retain a lot of the water too. So we probably have taking some of the yield off, but for the most part, I'd say we're looking pretty good. Chris Tenapel farms in Ironton, which is currently sitting at a moderate drought level. He says the humid weather has helped his crops grow despite the lack of rain. It's up to Mother Nature. We don't have any way to set up for irrigation here. For the most part, every year we get adequate amount of moisture, so that's really not something we can do. We just Hope that we can catch a rain when needed, and that's the best we can do. Just 20 miles away in Lamar's, field agronomist Joel DeYoung says the drought is beginning to impact a lot of farmers in the area. Well, we've got a lot of fields that really haven't had much rain, and the daily demand's high. So in afternoons, we're seeing a lot of fields actually with the leaves that curl, which tells me they're not getting enough moisture. We see soybean fields where the leaves are turning upside down, another indication that they're not getting as much moisture as they really need. And, and that, of course, is going to affect what our final yield level is going to be. DeYoung says farmers just have to continue to hope Mother Nature will come through. Otherwise, both the price of crops and the yield may be low for some Siouxland farmers. We have an area here that's under fairly significant drought stress, so it's hurting our yield potential. At the same time, the corn and soybean states as a whole actually have pretty good growing conditions. So uh, you're going to be selling into a market where there seems to be ad adequate supply. So that doesn't give a lot of hope for a major upswing in prices. Beginning tomorrow, Iowa State University is doing online drought seminars for farmers. And we'll be doing a new one each week with different drought topics. In Woodbury County, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.